Hello, my name is Erica Hughes and I'm part of the GS20 cohort at the Data School. Today I'll be showing you the basics of how to create a parallel coordinates chart in Tableau. This chart is useful for comparing the rank of different things, kind of like a bump chart, but instead of comparing rank over time, you can compare rank across different variables. Let's hop over to Tableau now so I can show you how to build it. For this demo, I'm going to be using a data set that was part of the Makeover Monday series. It's about the greenhouse gas emissions of different food products throughout the food production process. Notice that the axis of this chart have also been scaled so that the emissions are relative to the maximum and minimum, so we get an idea of the scale between ranks. To create this chart, you're going to want to open up a new worksheet and we're going to want to create a combined axis chart. The quickest way to do this is to drag your first measure onto the row shelf and then drag your second measure onto the axis that was automatically created. You'll notice that you get those two green bars and if you see those then you can let go and then you get two columns. You can keep dragging on uh, whichever measures you like into the measure values shelf. So I've got land use change there, packaging and processing. Since we want to look across them with a line, I can change the mark type from automatic to line, and there we have it. In order to split up this view by food product, you can simply take your dimension food product and drag it onto the details shelf. If I now change this to entire view so we can see things a bit better, this is the basis of your parallel coordinates chart. But as you can see, this doesn't give us a very clear view of what's happening with the rank of each food product. So that's why we're going to change the axes using some calculated fields. I've actually already set up the calculated fields and they're the same for every measure that you want in your view. What this is doing is taking the range between the value of greenhouse gas emissions and the minimum for that measure and comparing it with the maximum possible range. In other words, the maximum minus the minimum. This puts our maximum value at the top of the chart, the minimum at the bottom, and everything else in between in proportion to these two. This calculation uh, using these window functions is actually a custom table calculation. The way to be sure if something is a table calculation is if I replace my animal feed field with animal feed calculation by holding down control and dragging it to where animal feed was, we see the little triangle appear beside it. Once you've created all your calculations, you need to replace these in the measure values shelf. You can click and drop whilst holding control. So if I go ahead and do that, I want to replace farm with farm calculation, land use with land use calculation, packaging, and I don't have one for processing. Nothing appears in your view at this stage, and that's fine. Uh, what we want to do finally to get this working is we want Tableau to compute the table calculations using food product. So if you select all your measures, holding down control to make sure they all get selected, right click, compute using and go to food product, this is what you should see. Lastly, for this example, aside from a bit of formatting and tidying up with grid lines, it might make sense in this case to change the order of some of these values at the bottom here uh, so that it's in the same order as the food processing stages. So I can do that by going over to the measure values shelf, dragging land use to the top and then maybe farm, animal feed and packaging at the end. To format this chart in a similar way to what I have here, we actually need to create some parameters and parameter actions. We don't have time for that today, but I will create a blog and make sure that the link is shared in the description of this video. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you now feel confident to have a go at making your own parallel coordinates chart. Please check the description of this video for links to additional material you might find helpful. If you enjoyed this, make sure to check out my colleague Brandon's video on Sankey diagrams. Click the link on the screen to watch it next.